What's going on, everybody? Swagged out, swagged out, and you already know why I'm here. Look, if you follow my Instagram page, you know last week sometime I posted all of the fragrances I had at one particular house, and I said I'm going to get into that house, and this is the week when it starts. The house is Gallery of Fragrances. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but if you haven't, it is a really nice house. Um, based on the fragrances, forget the marketing, forget the creative director, forget who... The fragrances are good. The perfumers behind these are known, well established perfumers, and they did their thing on these fragrances. Now, the creative director is Ashton from Jensen's. You probably know the page. If you didn't know the association between the brand and the person, you should by now. But he does have a really big page, and he did a really great job putting these perfumers to work with his creative ideas. And the fragrances are phenomenal. And the first one I will speak to you today about is Shades of Seduction. Now, this fragrance is amazing. Number one, it does what it's supposed to do. You see the bottle, the red bottle usually represents seduction. The name is Shades of Seduction. And even in the description, it says it's a mystical blend of dark woods and sensual notes venturing into an exotic night, exploring an ultimate fantasy where seduction meets your hidden desires. It sounds like a freaky date night and that's what you can have. I mean, if you're about that life and you can make that happen on your own, again, these don't do that. Fragrances do not make anything happen. But if you already got it, it really makes it a lot easier. Like, if I want to be with you and you smell good, I really want to be on you. That's just basic stuff. If I don't want to be with you, fragrance is not going to change that. So don't go having any crazy ideas of the magic this will do for you. But if you in that zone already, this does not hurt at all. I'm telling you, this is nice. So this fragrance right here, uh, the notes are going to be pink pepper. It says uh, Ceylon cardamom. Never heard of that. Uh, Sicilian bergamot, French lavender, bourbon cinnamon. Not too familiar, but I know what cinnamon is. Uh, benzoin tears. Again, I know benzoin. Caribbean gayak wood. I know gayak. I don't know, you know, geographically how it's different. Black vanilla orchid, dark amber woods, and Cambodian patchouli. Look, I'm gonna just spray some more right there. I have some ready. Man, that is amazing. That that just that opening. Okay, you're gonna get pink pepper. You're gonna get a burst of that Sicilian bergamot. The cardamom starts to really like expand on your skin together with that with that bergamot. You get this really nice sweet citrusy fruity opening um with some spices in there it doesn't get too spicy too citrusy kind of fruity actually like i feel like there's more fruits in here i like that fruity spicy um sweet opening very very i mean off the bat very flirty for sure you get that lavender gives it a little uh cleanness in the mid that cinnamon, that bourbon cinnamon, I don't know what's special about bourbon cinnamon versus any other cinnamon, but there's something amazing going on when that cinnamon kicks in, and it kicks in rather quickly. You mix that sweet spiciness from the top with that fruity uh, bergamot, and then you add that cinnamon, and man, there is something, man, it's a sweet spice, the way cinnamon provides spice, not the way, you know, spice to, that you would add to food. It's a very gourmandy kind of spice, but this is not a gourmand fragrance. Um, you got that benzoin and that Gaia and the woods. The woods really start to give this fragrance some depth, some, some some of that, you know, grown man status. Sexiness is not just your your kitty. Um, I don't want to say any department store names, but you know, the over-the-counter quick thing. Like there was some thought put into this. It develops really nicely on the skin. And then you get that black vanilla orchid. It starts getting kind of creamy together with that patchouli. And man, the end result I'm telling you, this is a date night banger. Like, I know you have your top 10 list and you know what works for you. But if you have not tried this and have not put this in your rotation for date nights, for, for that special night, for when you just want to smell, set, if you want to sit in the house and really be feeling yourself like that, like, man, I smell good. This is crazy right here. You have to have to try this. Get a sample. Talk to somebody. Get a decant. Wait till he has a crazy sale. Listen. Galleria has some amazing sales. They're not often, but when they are, you can get a grip of perfumes for an amazing price. The end result is this. You're going to smell good for hours. It projects. It's inviting. It, I'm telling you, it has that sweet 
warmth, creaminess. It does all the things kind of the different date night fragrances kind of do, but it does, it blends them in all so well. Listen, I'm a big fan of this fragrance. Uh, the second one on my list in terms of hierarchy of what's banging this company right here is definitely Victorian Tobacco. I'll get into that another day, but for sure, if you're into the, you know, smelling flirty, having that smell that kind of says, hey, I want you to get close or I want to get close. This is it. This lets you know what time it is. The vibe is all in here. The bottle starts the message and the fragrance takes over after that. If you have not checked Gallery out, I suggest you do. By the way, this is not paid for uh, by any brand. No one sent me anything. And Ashton does not know me from a hole in the wall, but I'm telling you, he did his thing with this particular fragrance. Um, very enthusiastic about it, as you can tell. Uh, Victorian Tobacco will be the next one that I'm equally, because it does kind of all the same great things in its own realm. Like it does everything it's supposed to do. Not that they're comparable with um, their performance or, or how they work, what they're intended to do. But this fragrance right here, please check it out. Shades of Seduction. It's in the name. I'm telling you, it does what it's supposed to do. Get your nose on it. Thank me later. I'm telling you now, this is the one. I really have nothing else to say. Like, I just put you on to game right now. If you don't check this out, that's on you. But I'm telling you, I just put you on the game. I have nothing else to say past that. Besides, give me a like. Subscribe if you didn't. Add the comments if you want to talk your trash. I'm with the ish. You already know. That's all I have. Fragged out. Swagged out. And I'm out.